Hi, my name is Chip Ingram. I'm the teaching pastor and CEO for Living on the Edge. We're a teaching and discipleship ministry. And our passage today is from Psalm 51, verse 10. And it's really a prayer of David. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and restore or renew a steadfast spirit within me. And what we have here is a man whose heart is broken. Uh, the word for create here, it's bara. It's the same word as when God created the heavens and the earth. It's, it's out of nothing. It's a work of God. He's, he realizes, God, no matter what I can do, I can't make it right. He's been in denial. He's made excuses. He's rationalized. He wanted this woman for himself, and he did whatever it took. And one thing compounded onto another. And you've been there. I've been there. We've all been there. And I think the hard part is, even when we come and say, Lord, I'm sorry, like, will I do it again? Or how can I ever stay on the right track? And so the second half is renew a steadfast spirit within me, inside of me, not external, but a work in me. And here's what I want to leave you with. Sin at its heart is always relational. When we think, I broke a rule, I'm sorry I did that, pray First John 1, 9, everything's okay. No, when we come to realize I broke God's heart, I severed the relationship, I committed spiritual adultery, I dissed him, I don't need you. Those are the kind of feelings, that's what happens in your heart. And when you come to God in that way, 100% of the time, he'll create a new heart in you. He'll renew a steadfast spirit. And I believe this is one that after we pray it to the Lord personally, we desperately need to share that with someone we really love and trust.